Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to do a tutorial about positioning, uh, but also more importantly about a sp specific item that affects positioning and affects the metagame very much, and that item is called Zephyr. Zephyr is a very basic item and gets you plus 200 HP bonus and 20 magic resist, which of course comes from its parts, which is the Giant's Belt and Negatron Cloak, uh, but the, the effect is very unique. What it does, it... Um, it targets one of the champions of our opponents and basically it puts him out for the fifth, first five seconds at the beginning of the combat, out of the combat basically. Because he sits in a, in a tornado and he does nothing, right? So it's a very powerful item um, that is definitely a game changer, a meta changer uh, in our current environment because you can target a specific champion. But Lothar, how is it possible that you can target a specific champion? Isn't Zephyr random? No, it's not. It's actually not random. Because it works in a simple way. And you're gonna um, look, take a look at the board right now. You have the, the far right hex in the third row, in the bottom row. You have my creature, let's say, a champion with it, uh, with the Zephyr equipped, sitting there at the beginning of the combat. Now, it will always, always affect the champion that is on the opposite side of the board in the same row, uh, as you can see here. If there is no target there, then it will target the closest one um, to the hex that it's targeting. So, you can always target the specific hex that you want. So, you can target a hyper carry in our opponent's uh, team, because there's almost always one guy, one champion, that deals like 80% of the damage by the entire team, you know? So, let's talk about characters like Aatrox. Cannon, Morgana, uh, Draven, Ash, Virus, uh, all of that stuff is very important, crucial pieces of a composition that our opponent is playing, and if you can just uh, incapacitate, is that the correct word? Anyway, if you can just, uh, let's say, disarm those characters for five seconds at the beginning of the battle, that's the crucial time that you might need to build up your mana in your own characters to change the, um, the entire game, the entire fight. So, when you think about it, you can always put your character with the Zephyr on a place that you wanted to target a specific champion. Let's say your opponent is playing an Aatrox, which is in the first row, and it's sitting here, um, on the opposite side of the board. So you're gonna move the Zephyr on your left side, so you can target the Hex on the right side, because that's where the Aatrox is sitting. If the Aatrox is sitting, let's say, in this uh, Hex on the first board, you wanna move your Hex, uh, sorry, your, your uh, champion with the Zephyr, here because that's the opposite side of that row with that hex if you want to move it here then it affects the hex order um on the other hand side uh on the opponent's board if someone is in the middle in the middle row then you move your hex uh why am i talking about hex then you move your champ with the zephyr over here and it affects the hex over there so it's always always 100 certain that if you know that there's a character in that hex, you will always target it. Now the question is, what do I do? How do I build an item um, that is so specific to movement and to positioning, and I can then put it safely on a character that will not get crushed because he's, in a, let's say, he's alone on a map or something like that? And this is a very good question because you should be able to put Zephyr on characters that don't rely on the other parts of the team. Perfect example would be Pike or Akali. Both of those champions are, are champions that can be on any row on the map, right? Even on the first row. You can put an assassin in the first row, and if you don't start your combat against a hex that has a champion, then you're gonna still jump as an assassin. That means you can still put your Akali in the first row and affect someone with the Zephyr in the first row, while still she will be there jumping over... Uh, over to the furthest, uh, furthest champion away from her and still attacking that champion. Pike, the same stuff, right? Any other champion that will benefit from it would be any champion with Rapid Fire Cannon, an example, because he has so much range, well, apart from maybe melee, but let's say you have a Draven, you have a Brand, or you have a Cannon, right, with Rapid Fire Cannon, which, are, which can then sit in the third row uh, on the map and will always have a target in the beginning of the game, so they don't waste time for, to move, so they don't waste that precious DP DPS and mana generation, and they will always attack someone, while always 
um, having a target in the back row. If that's of course, if you know that your opponent has a target for the Zephyr in the last row, because otherwise you might be sitting in the middle row, then you don't need RFC. Uh, but it might be a champion like an example, Aatrox, which sometimes starts the game in the middle row because he doesn't have great defensive items. Like a Zephyr is a defensive item, but it doesn't necessarily uh, like help you with with a lot of CC spam and just magic damage, right? It's on 20 magic resist, so your your character will have 40. Uh, but then you can maybe add a second second item that has another part of uh, Negatron Cloak, and then suddenly the Atrox has 60% magic resist. Uh, so it can start in the front row, right? And then target someone in the front row. Uh, you have to always think about the Zephyr champion that you want to have must be the most flexible and least positioning a reliant uh, reliant champion from from your composition but at the same time it cannot be a dummy you know like let's say uh one of my dummies especially when i play gunslinger's blade masters is gangplank typically he's like super weak sometimes i don't even upgrade him to silver because i don't want to waste the gold right unless i really have the gold to spend uh but you don't want to put a zephyr on that character because most of the time he's like a He's like a, a bait for assassins that is being put in the other uh, side of the of the board, or he gets baited for Blitzcrank, and then you just waste 200 uh, HP and 20 magic resist on a guy that dies anyway. So, typically you want to put it on a guy that will somehow benefit from the increased best base stats, right? But at the same time, he, uh, he, he can have a third item that doesn't necessarily... Um, mean that that doesn't necessarily mean that he will lose other potential item combos right um other good examples would be any brawler the brawlers it's uh, the, the um, themselves are kind of capable of dish dishing some out damage like chogat uh like like volibear uh those guys are pretty decent uh in first or second row they can still out some da uh they can still still dish out some damage sometimes you don't even want to the chogat to be in the front row especially in the demon meta because then he gets his mana burned, so you can put him in the second row and still affect someone from the second row. There's tons of options, you know? Tons of options. And uh, uh, since I've taken a nice uh, graphic from Reddit, I'm gonna link it in the description later on. Uh, here you have some... Wait, let me move this. Uh, here you have some compositions uh, that are in the current meta, and as you can see, like, all of those builds, builds have always a great target for this effort that you would like to just you know cancel out for the first five seconds of the battle and that will change the tide of the battle nomen omen so in an example ninja elementalist you can put the zephyr on your own pike or the own akali but if you play against ninja elementalist you would like to uh basically target cannon maybe brand maybe akali and maybe pike right you have like four targets that you can definitely use uh, the Zephyr on, and you should target the character that has the most damage items, or has the potential to deal the most damage to your creatures, or, an example, target a demon that you know that might be very crucial to just not allowing your creatures, your champions, to play uh, their own ultimates. And Demon Elementals is very similar, you, you, would, you would like to target the Aatrox, you would like to target the Cannon, uh, the Morgana, the Volibear, maybe Brand, but most of the time the Brand here is just a placeholder because you need uh, the Elementalists and, you know, Brand is the one that is playable since it's also a demon. Uh, but typically you would like to put the items on Aatrox, Morgana, Cannon, and maybe Volibear, but probably not Brand. Because Silver Brand is actually playable on its own, so he doesn't necessarily need the items uh, to make him more playable. Now, in Demon Yord the Sorcerer, it's very similar. Lulu is a great piece to actually have the Zephyr on it, uh, because she starts with mana, uh, she has high stats when it comes to HP, he, she benefits from the 200 HP and the 20 magic resist, and even if she starts in the first row, because she starts with some mana, and she's a Sorcerer, so she generates mana twice the fast from auto attacks, she can almost always rescue herself from the, you know, Ordnance, on the first row uh, with her ult and still be capable of using the Zephyr to full extent. So, so Lulu is one of the best characters to actually wield the Zephyr and be very flexible on the almost the entire map because she has 420 range so it can be uh, she can start the game on first or second row 
Uh, third row is a little bit of a stretch, but she can still be on the in the third row and still benefit from the Zephyr. Um, then an example in Ninja, well, oh, that's very similar, but let's say Dragon Shapeshifter Saucer, right? This is like one of the um, compositions that is being built right now to counter all the heavy damage from magic um, that is being um, played by everyone, by Cannon, Morgana, and Aatrox, right? And the this composition has carries that have full magic resist. So an example, Shivana and Aesol can be those very powerful minions um, that you would like to incapacitate. Jesus, I don't know if, even if this is the correct word, but you would like to cancel um, their participation from the battle for the first five seconds so you can take care of the other guys that will die so she can be targeted then without being a dragon, right? Because a shapeshifter that doesn't transform is almost useless. So if you can catch uh, that Shivana off guard after five seconds of the battle when everyone else is like, your entire front line is dead, right? Because you have like Elise and, and Nidali. They both die. And then Shivana is being spawned on the map again after five seconds. And she's the only target. Everyone targets at her. Well, then most likely she will not... She will not transform and just die in the normal form, which is easier to do than when she transforms into a dragon. You can basically always find a target for it. This is why I think it's uh, Zephyr is a very underrated, right, uh, underrated item right now in the meta, and I would really highly recommend to start using it, because I myself won few fights that I shouldn't have not won uh, just because of this item. Alright, hope you guys liked it. Make sure to visit g2esports.com slash shop, buy your jersey or whatever you want, whatever you like, and if you have any questions or something, just leave a comment. I'll try to reply. Bye-bye.